Hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Hello, Mrs. Farmer. Hi, Mr. Farmer. How are you this evening? I am really hungry. How are you? All right. Here's the deal. Okay. This is probably way different from most cooking shows because this is really our kitchen. Mm -hmm. It's not a set. When we go to the cabin, that's our place. Right. When we cook in front of the wagon, that's our place. Anywhere we cook, it's on our farm. Right. And anytime we cook, it's something that we want to eat that particular day. Mm -hmm. And it's what we happen to have in our refrigerator. Or we thought, boy, this sounds good because we haven't had this in a while. Right. Last week, Bo Spencer had to go talking about pig knuckles. And you know what? I had and some recipes turn into something else. Mm -hmm. This is one of those nights. Okay. I had ham hocks that I was going to put in beans. Right. Then I started thinking about all those German dishes we have over there and pig knuckles. So I thought, why not just make sauerkraut? Yeah, yeah sauerkraut. That's good. That's delicious. That's very good. So what happened here? What was on sale? Uh, was it the eye of round? It was the eye of round. That's one of my favorite cuts. All right, she loves her roast potatoes yes. and carrots. All right, she was working off in another part of the house, mm -hmm. and I started to experiment. I got two of them. Okay. Okay. So I was going to make something, and it turned into something else, which you're going to like. It's one of your favorite recipes. Okay. I'm, I'm not oh, going to say, well, I shouldn't say too much. But it's a fairly short turnaround on time. Okay, I like that, because I'm starving. Okay. So tonight we're going to do something very interesting. You are going to love it. Most people really love this recipe. We haven't had it in a long time, and we've not had it like this. Okay. So it involves a smoker. Guess what? What? It's raining again. Aren't you glad? I love the it's rain. So dry. Look at my hair. You can tell it's raining. Your hair looks nice, uh -huh. actually. It goes whoop. <laughs> you know, I'm sick of rain. Mm -hmm. We have not been able to cook outside because of the rain. Right. Our cameras would melt in the rain. That's right. So I can still go out on the back porch now, can I? You can. You enjoy that, don't you? The smoker's going. Right. The, you're going to hear the rain when we go out on the porch. It's just ridiculous. So we can't cook outside, mm -hmm. so we're going to cook in our kitchen. That's another thing that's going to change this year. And we're getting ready to rip all this out and yeah. start anew. So what are we going to do? And I'm, going to, I'm not going to tell you what we're doing until we okay. get there. And you're going to, you're going to guess but along the way. But it's something with roast. I like something that. Something with roast. I always, that's my favorite, always. Right. Any kind of meat. Now, you think about a roast, it's it's a little tougher mm -hmm. piece of meat. It's got to cook the eye a long yeah. time to make your roast potatoes and carrots, if you do right. it that way. But what I'm going to ask you to do, if you will, is to coat that with olive oil. I have to help? Pretty please. <laughs> I'm teasing. It'd be like you were cooking it. Yeah, right? it'd be like I was cooking. <laughs> so oil and all of it. Because it's going on the smoker, I'll tell you what I'm going to do just to enhance that. I've got some bourbon smoked sea salt. This is made in Kentucky. Bourbon barrel products, by the way. So I'm going to go pretty heavy on that. I'm going to also, I'm going to go ahead and brown this. I want this to stay on here. And I'm going to brown it over a hot pan. I'm going to sear it. That sear good. all that yeah. flavor in. And I'm going to pop it on the smoker at a high temperature. So I'm going to come back. Plenty of pepper. Coarse ground pepper. For Glenn. For Glenn, because <laughs> Glenn loves his pepper. In fact, Glenn loves his pepper so much that he went to pepper rehab. Did he? Let's say. Went to pepper rehab. All right. Everybody thought he was doing really well. Uh -huh. You know what he was doing the whole time? What? On his computer. All he was doing was looking at pepper shipments. Really? And the next thing you know, he was in a submarine headed to the Bahamas with a pepper ship. <laughs> no, <I don't> <laughs> with a pepper ship uh, actually got caught on the reef. Oh my goodness. And did a shark come in? No, no oh, sharks. No sharks. Okay. <laughs> there was some out of the distance. Okay. But the, there he was stuck on the oh. reef. He with his crew of eight. Wow. Popped the pepper. Was in his the wife submarine. with him? She doesn't no, participate. She, does, she does doesn't it. know what's right. going on. If she okay. knew, she, Patricia would be so upset. She would be upset. <laughs> but anyway, here we thought he was, he was doing better. Poor Glenn. <laughs> Poor Glenn. He's he's incorrigible. Yeah. But he loves his pepper. <laughs> now sometimes we have private references to to people or folks, uh, you know. And uh, for those who follow the show, and there's a bunch of who watch every week, mm -hmm. they know who Glenn is. He was he went on a cruise with us on the Alaskan cruise on the Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen Cruise. And we had such a good time. He says, man, I love everything you do. He said, but you put a lot of pepper. <laughs> he said, way too much pepper. I said, man, we got to love our pepper. They become good friends. All right, now what I'm going to do. All right, so we got a good hot pan. And look, we got some fat on top of that. I'm going to sear that. Hold all that juice in there. Oh, it smells good already. I know it. <laughs> Just a little bit. All right, so we're going to turn this pan down. We're going to come back with a little more salt. It smells good now. I know, because uh, we lost some of that, and we're going to put that and make sure it's got nice. Because, I mean, we're, we're only putting this a short amount of time. Yeah. I actually like mm. experimenting. Now, here's the thing. 
I'm messing around with the Traeger, I'm trying okay. to figure it out. And guess what? It's got a great taste, great flavor. You cook a chicken. Remember we did our chicken? Yeah, that's 90 minutes. So I started thinking. Now, now this is again with the graininess of this and so on and so forth. It's not exactly you can't cook it like a steak. Mm -hmm. But I was still thinking about that 90 minute cook time on a three pound chicken. This okay. is roughly three pounds. So what happens if you bring the temperature way up? You sear it first, you put it in there, and you Sounds good it. to me. Let's pop it on and we'll find out. All right. Now, I asked you to make these because it's going to kind of go along or with what I'm making. Venus, all my favorite stuff. I love potatoes. You love this. You made yes. these the other night and then they were hit. Okay. Now, the, the real hero in this is the Gruyere cheese. It's, that's delicious. It's smoked yeah. with that. So everything we got tonight has got a smoky flavor to it. So that's delicious. And let me talk about this. If you've never smoked cheese, you can smoke cheese. Take a look at this segment if you haven't seen it before. This is a cold smoking now. You can't get it too hot or you right. melt it. That was good. And melty cheese. It's okay, but I like multi smoke cheese. Yeah, you do like. Them. <laughs> All right, so anyhow, these potatoes are going to be the star next to something you really like. Right. And this so tell me how so to do this. So simple. I mean, if, this is the cheese, the special cheese, and how did you pronounce that? Gruyere. Gruyere cheese. I like that. Just four potatoes. We're just going to peel those. Mm -hmm. This is a super simple recipe. Okay. One thing I didn't mention, or may have, mm -hmm. on the smoker, I've got that on the highest setting I can get. It's about 450. Okay. Now I've learned about the triggers is you got is the fan kicks in. It'll kind of the temperature will come down and go up, so you got to watch your temperature. But the main thing that you got to do when you're smoking meat and you can't access it, plug your thermometer in while you're cooking. This one has one on board. Yeah. I don't want this to get very done on the inside. I want this to be rare. I want yeah. this to be about 125, but it's gonna be a little more tender if it's a little right. more rare. So we're thinking 125, something yeah. like that, 130. That sounds good. I want good. it to still be a little bloody if we can do that. My mouth is watering thinking about your potatoes. Let's okay. roll with these. It's so simple. All right, if you want to get the burner going for us. All right. And this is one cup of whipping cream. And you're going to be in charge. You're going to get a spoon here. This is all we're going to put in it. We're going to put a cup, a little bit of red pepper. All right. Got that's it. a half a teaspoon. All right. And the same with the salt. And that's it. That's what we're going to have in there. Now, what you're right. making, you want to bring that to a soft boil. All right. And while you're doing that, I'm going to try to cut these as thin as I can. And then we're dropping them in? Is that kind of boiling? We want that to come to a boil. Yeah, I got a little boil. We got a little boil. All Tiny right. Baby. Let's stir this in because it's going to thicken up when you put these. We're going to probably two or three minutes. Just let these kind of, let's let the sauce thicken up with the potatoes. All right. And not a whole lot though. The main cooking's in the stove and you'll be surprised at what comes out when it's done. So what do you cook these on? We're going to set the oven for 350, 350? For, and give it one hour. And they're wow. going to be nice and crispy on top and you're going to be amazed at how That's delicious. Good. Look pretty good? You know what? I'm going to pour half of these in here. We're going to do two layers. So let's see about, look about half. Half of this cheese, it's so delicious. Man, I tell you what, we had this here. When, well, it's been a while back, right before the holidays. Got the out. kids loved it. All right, so we got half. So a layer of cheese. Yep. And now we're going to take the rest of the potatoes. See how it's kind of thickened up a little bit in there? Mm -hmm. We're going to spread that out. So we kind of just have two layers. Just enough for us. And this is for four people. You could double it, but this is when I made oh, it the other night. Just enough for us. <laughs> just, just enough for us, four people. <laughs> And we're gonna go ahead and just put that on top. Nice. That is it. In the oven for one hour. And you, wait, you wait to see what one comes hour. out of there. Yes. I know what comes out. I I'm like throw it. it in. All right. All right. Here it goes. Oh, you smell that? Boom. If you will, cut me some peppers. Okay. Uh, I just got kind of long, thin pieces. Okay. A little bit of each. And onions. Yeah, you can for color. All right. And I know you're going to like this. Well, I already, you know I love peppers too and onions. No. Oh. I still can't tell you. It's top All secret. Right. You figured it out yet? Uh, peppers and onions and meat. All right. No? All right. <laughs> How much onion? Let's go at least a half. I need, half I need some All onions. Right. Now heat my pan back up. Now if you notice I'm using the same pan. I'm gonna leave all those pieces of meat in there. I'm gonna just keep leaving everything in there. All right, so and half thin. and or just yeah, long. Just long thin pieces. I'm gonna get this started. A little bit thicker. All right, drop me some onions. All right. I'm put a few more peppers in there too, if you like. And just because we can, 
I know we've got olive oil in there too, but you know, yeah. why not? Let's bring a little butter in Butter's there too. Good. Is that not? I like butter. Let's top it off beautifully. And we have our eye brown sitting right here, which has been resting. Mm -hmm. It's important to let your meat rest. And I'll tell you what, we might put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Let's set that meat out right here. Okay. That looks amazing. Does it smell great? Yes. Now, again, typically, that's a roast that you're going to have to cook a long time to get it nice and tender. This didn't go very long at all. A little over an hour and 15 minutes. So, no. Okay, Here's what I'm actually going to do. Now, look. Okay. If you will. Uh, you remember how you cut your potatoes? Mm hmm That's how I want you to cut the meat. The so very thinnest, thin. The thinnest slices you can possibly make. All righty. Can I try a piece? Oh. Oh. It's not good. <laughs> All right, now I can tell from that color. That looks good. That's exactly where I want it. Okay. Should I, I try a little piece? You should probably try a little piece. Mm, yum. <laughs> nice and salty, too. I like your salt. Okay, how would you eat this, Nikki? A little thin With my mouth. Of... Can I try one? Yep. Nikki. Yum. What are you going to do with such thin pieces of meat? Can you tell you what I'd like to do with them? <laughs> you know, don't you? I do, I think now. What are you going to do? But you're missing, you need like a, we need some buns or something, hoagies. Is that what you call it? What are you going to call it? You can call it a hoagie, you can call it a French dip, you French can dip, call it a whatever yeah. you want. Anything with roast beef's amazing. But I want you to look at that meat right there. Oh, it looks so good. What would normally be kind of a, look at that, look how easy it tears. That's probably That's enough, not it? tough. Wow. Because we didn't cook it that long. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Nice smoky flavor. I think that's enough for if we're going to share. Wow. Oh my. Now you noticed I cooked my meat in here. Mm -hmm. I cooked my onions, peppers, all these wonderful flavors. But I'm not done. Okay. That's left. <laughs> I'm going to get these done. Let's clean up just a little bit. All right. And the surprise is out of the bag, but it's going to be good. Yay. All right. All right, so cat's out of the bag. Yum. Cast iron. You can't use anything metal against cast iron. Yes, you can. You can't wash your cast iron out with soap. Yes, you can. You can't do this. You can't do that. Mm. You know what? There's a lot of things you can do and a lot of things you shouldn't do with cast iron. But you know what? We get our advice from Lodge. And if you want to go know. on our cast iron page, <laughs> Cast Iron Cooking with Tim Farmer. There's all kinds of folks on there who have all kinds of, from all over the place. Man, we get, this thing's right. growing like crazy. Now. By the way, the onion was good. I tried one. You I tried the onion? one, yes. Get on there, join, and talk. We want you to talk. It's, it's not about me, it's about you. I, want, right. you know, I might steal some ideas from you. But you see all these folks cooking really cool stuff? Yeah. Cast Iron Cooking with Tim Farmer, it's our sister page. You go there, join us. You know what? <laughs> I like butter. I'm just gonna do it like I would normally do it. Okay. What am I going to do this butter, Mrs. Farmer? I hope, you're gonna, I, you? I hope you can put the bun See in there. Bun? Yeah, that's what I thought. Take our bun. Okay. Butter. It won't hurt. Butter's good for you. That's my guideline. Okay, look what we got here. Look what we got. Yum. Look how tender that is. I can't wait. Short amount of time cooking, as long as it takes on your smoker. And if you don't want to smoke it, put it on grill. Close it up. Get it to 500 yeah. degrees until that center gets to be what you want. It. Ours right. is about 125. And we're good to go. Hey, how about some horseradish sauce on that? There, that's exactly right. Okay. <laughs> hey, look, look, I'm one step all right. ahead Yay. of you. Yum. I know you love it. I do love it. So that's all you. Mm. Now that we've got our situation, all those flavors in here, we're not stopping. Dipping sauce, I like that. Uh-huh. How much beef? I'm gonna go probably. about a cup. Okay. Because I know about how much we need here. This is better than bouillon to get the salty flavor you're gonna need. We're gonna do about, oh, three quarters of a tablespoon. No one's to be salty. We want this to reduce down a little bit. Now, here's something that gives me indigestion. That's good. But it really adds to this. A little minced onion, not a whole lot. Probably around a half teaspoon. Yummy. You already smell that? I do. Oh. Now, I'm going to get that. I'm going to let that reduce down a little bit. I'm going to come up with just a little red wine. Okay. Where have we seen this before? I like red wine. A little bit of red wine. It's going to be our dipping sauce. A little bit of currant jelly, red currant jelly. Teaspoon and a half on that. Now I'm gonna let that reduce down. Now I'm gonna taste that as it goes along to make sure it's where I know you like it. Yeah. And I like it. So, I know you like 
your horseradish. That's right. Let's build a sandwich. Well, let's go ahead and spread that out. Yeah. You can share that with me. I will share. I'll give you one bite. You want more horseradish? Yeah, maybe a little more. I do like. More? I love horseradish. Yeah, perfect. Yum. I knew you'd like this. And this mm -hmm. is a happy accident. This is a. Who was it? Bob Ross used to say this is a happy accident. Happy accident. So we take your meat. Lay nice longer, nice pieces. and tender. Got that smoky taste going. Mm. We, I, you know, how many times have we done a sandwich on the show? Not very yeah. many, right? Yeah. That looks perfect. I think I made you hoagies before, but it was a different, whole mm -hmm. different kind of meat. Now, we're going to take some of your pipples. Yum. What do you think, Ms. Farmer? I, I think it looks pretty good. Can you dig it? I can. I like that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're almost done over here, too. In fact, I'm going to call it. Okay. Yeah. That smells good. That looks all good. those juices in there. All those juices that I'm spilling all over the counter. <laughs> Look at that. That looks pretty good. Yeah, do you want cheese? I brought out some provolone. Is that okay? You, hey, it's your, it's your night. We'll just kind of lay it like that. And can I fold this Smash over? Smash it together. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's how it should be. I'm going to cut that in half. Is that all right? Yeah. To dip? Because I'd like half of it all myself. All right, I'll share with you. Tigers look mighty good. They do. Nice and brown. Ooh, yum. Gotta have a side, right? And they've cooled a little. Yes, this is one of my favorite. Potatoes, how, you can't go wrong with this. <laughs> yum. That's fantastic looking. All right, you grab one, I grab one. I know you're loving this. You dip. Go ahead. Dip your dog. Mm. Oh, wow. It's the best I've ever had. Best ever, seriously? Mm hmm That's really I'm good. I'm just saying it because mm -hmm. it's me. And I need a bite of potatoes. Man, that is fresh. You can have a bite of potatoes? I think I'm going to have another bite of this. You know what? We mm -hmm. might have turned the camera off and get ugly. I think we should. That's the best ever. And I can wrap this up. I can eat for a whole week on this. That's big. I can just keep... You will, too. I will. I will. I'll can you eat all those buns? Probably. I can do four. I'll give you one. How's that? I'll do four and you one. Well, let me get a bite of those potatoes. I forgot how good those are. I got sidetracked on the sandwich. Mm. The cheese makes it, doesn't it? I like the crunchy stuff. Oh, I got nice and mm. crunchy. Oh, that's a that's a perfect mm -hmm. side to that. That's really good. You know what? This was fantastic, mm -hmm. but we're not done yet. That's right. This is all about you, and and I asked for this. This is something that you like that mm -hmm. your family has made over the years. So I said, hey, knock yourself out. You love your potatoes. I made your favorite sandwich ever. So why not just go ahead with the bread pudding? We need some bourbon bread pudding, yum. That's what I'm talking about. Let's clean this mess up. All right, let's do this. All right, this is a this is a bourbon bread pudding, and we're gonna throw some peaches in it. And um, I'm on board. You had whatever. All right, and what I did was I just got some. You can have any kind of bread. I just got some French bread, and I'm gonna cut this into squares. That one, that little piece is good enough. All right, I have some of the bread, and this have to be nothing perfect. So how much bread? A little over a cup, a little over a cup. Yeah. Over a cup. This is maybe like a little half of a loaf. But this bread's not fattening. No, bread is not fattening at all. And I'm not doing anything fancy here. I'm just breaking it all up. All right. It's gonna all go together. Your family loves bread pudding. And we do. We like all puddings. And I know what happens here because you make a little sauce. I, don't, mm -hmm. not, I won't spoil it. Go ahead and do what you do. All right. We're going to do but this. Pieces. is going to be cooked in the oven. This is a, yes. this is a cast iron. We're not cooking this here. We're cooking in the oven. We could have been on outside, but it's raining. That's so let's true. do it in here. So let's do some peaches on here. Nice, no, scary. And you got raisins over there. Why don't you throw some raisins on raisins. there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just that right there. Just that looks look at, good. Look at advertising. Look at that. That's beautiful. Looks good. Now we're going to start off with three eggs. All right. Whipping cream. Tonight's the whipping cream night. A cup How of whipping much? cream. A cup? Yes. A See, there's no calories there. Nope. That's all good for you. That's some we nice normally thing. eat like this. Hey, we, you know, we ate kind of healthy last week, didn't we? Yeah. So we, was that the week before? No, we were healthy last week. Yeah. So we're... We're good. Third cup of sugar. You can start stirring that around if you mm -hmm. want for me. Sugar, and now I'm going to put a quarter cup of bourbon. It can be whatever your choice is of bourbon. Or if you don't want to use bourbon, you, yeah, don't, you don't have, have to. to. But if you put this much bourbon in here and you cook this down, you will not go to jail. That's right. It won't hurt you. Not worry about having any effects whatsoever because the alcohol will be cooked out of this. That's right. I got two tablespoons of melted butter here. All right. We're going to add that in. All right, now we're going to do half a teaspoon of vanilla. All right. I'm just going to kind of measure here. How my, how's my mixing skills? You're doing really good. You're a great mixer. About half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm just going to kind of guess here, too, on that. 
Right. What do you think? Whoa. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Yeah, it looks like eggnog. It does, doesn't it? Now we need some salt, and I need about half a teaspoon of that, so we're going to just... Oh, that smells good. Doesn't it smell good I mean, already? It seriously smells good. It smells like French toast, isn't it? <laughs> it's ridiculous. All right. We're just, mixing skills. That's perfect. We're going to pour this over the top and pop right. it in the oven. 350? 350. For how long? For about half an hour. All right. All right, Mrs. Farmer. Those carbs are kicking in. Are they? So that means you're ready for dessert. And we need some dessert now. But we need a special sauce to go oh, on sure our we dessert. Because that's almost done. We need a bourbon sauce. All right, what do we do? All right, we're going to put two tablespoons of butter in there. All right, because we haven't had any butter. That's right. Today. And I have an eighth cup of water. All right. And this is a quarter cup of brown sugar. You know how you got to just have a little bit of salt. A little pinch of salt. Salt of everything. And then we're going to put like about a tablespoon of bourbon in there because it's bourbon sauce. So that's it? Yeah, that's it. So this just needs to be warmed up. Just heat up it all, just as long as it's all melted together. Mm -hmm. to get it warm for the top. We got two minutes. Okay. That smells like Kevin. It does. I'm ready. You let's ready for some? Let's, let's roll. All right. It's looking pretty good. Mm, look at that. Yum. Oh, oh, the smell. Is it drizzle? You just drizzle some of our sauce. Is it, Are you kidding me? Is that good? Now, I know it's pretty sweet, but just in case, just a little more sugar. This is kind of a, this isn't the same one you always do. It's a little bit of a departure. Yeah, it is. But wow. Just and a little sugar. More sugar. And then this just to make it look, just some confection sugar. Just to, hey, and if your diet doesn't allow this, don't put it in. That's right. Look at that. Yum. Look at that. I'm just going to slide it right over there. Oh, look at that. That looks pretty good. Oh, smell it. <laughs> and some peaches. I'm going to do it right in the middle of it. That's going to be hot. Mm. I like that pretty good. How about you? That's excellent. It's dagging it. Mm -hmm. I think it would harden up as it sits too and cools a little bit. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. Mm. Wow. This is all about you tonight. Oh, thank Next you. Next week, you talk about me. Oh, really? So we going hunting? Maybe. <laughs> okay. You know what? Or fishing. Maybe we should lay some venison out. That's a good a lot idea. A people ask about venison. Mm -hmm. You know what? You got a couple nice deer this year. Good idea. Maybe. I like that. Now, remember, if we're, if we're fixing venison, mm -hmm. somebody says, well, I don't have venison. Guess what? Use beef. Right. Most of the time, it'll overlap. That's and right. It'll be good. So one more bite of this, and I'm going to be laying on the floor asleep. OK. Maybe. So before I take a nap on the floor, we should mention that we have a Facebook page. Yes, we do. And people say, it's extremely, terribly difficult to get mm -hmm. on a person's Facebook page. How in the world would they get on Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen Facebook page? You hit like. No. Yes, that's what you that do. That simple. Uh-huh. We have a lot of <laughs> great friends on there. We talk to them back and forth. Another place that we go to, timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. Mm -hmm. What do you find over there? Recipes, and this will be on there, won't it? How to's. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't raining every day for the last 120 years, I know. We might be outside making syrup. That's some of the things yeah. we've done in the past, building the smokehouse, right. all these sorts of things. TimFarmersCountryKitchen.com. Click YouTube. Our shows are on there. Subscribe. That way, every time something new comes up. And it's the first of the year. Yay. So all new shows That's coming right. up, all kinds of stuff. We got Christmas behind us. Mm -hmm. We played. We had fun. Yes, we, we played did. music. We, we had played fun. Castle. We had a whole lot of fun. But now it's time to get back to cooking. That's right. So, oh, the carbs just kicked it's in. It's all about good times. Good friends. And good eats. Mm, take it in there. Come on, eat with me. Eat with me. <laughs> to order a cookbook, please call 502-319-0487 or email timfarmerck at gmail.com.